morning. A beautiful day in Kirk with Stephen. Guys, that's where we camped last night, leave no trace. But we're on a campsite, so it's fine. Um, today, we're just gonna walk into Kirk with Stephen now this morning. It's about nine o'clock, 10 past nine. Took it easy, lovely hot showers, really nice facilities. Um, and today we're gonna be heading up to the nine standards and that looks fantastic. You can see the, uh, one of the lads could see the stones from the, um, from, from miles away, to be honest. So we're going up there and then we're heading into Kells. So it's about a 15 mile hike today. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna see how we feel when we get there. And if we can, we'll push on a little bit further. Yeah, so 15 mile hike today, nice and easy. Gonna be a little bit boggy on the other side, I think, but luckily the weather's on our side. So I'll check in with you when we've restocked and got some breakfast. Look at that, sausage, butter. And that's from Bryson's Bakery in Kirby Stephen. And this is the way we're going to the start of the coast to coast. It's lovely, a uh, beautiful day. The roads and the hills coming out of um, Kirby Stephen are beautiful. Just rolling hills, lovely things to see. We've just gone past. I've got a photo of it, I might be able to pop it up. Um, just seen a, a llama in the field, it's just uh, lovely. And this little hill in the background, it reminds me of the Dragon's Back in the Peak District. You can just see it there, along the little ridge. We've got to go round this, hopefully, or over it, into the side, and then I'll try and give you a view of the nine standards on the top. I'm feeling really, really strong today. I feel really refreshed after a sleeping shack in the hotel. And then even though it was a long, long day yesterday, it was just nice on the legs. Lovely camp last night which felt like a hotel just it was really nice and um, so I feel uh, I feel as fresh as when I first started so far so good so after that long slog coming up in the heat ooh, literally just the last few steps now to get to the top of the nine standards so the nine standards one of the high points the high point of the day and it's where quite a few paths cross definitely the coast to coast and the Pennine way which maybe one day in the future I'll attempt to. Um, and nobody know bastard. Sorry, nobody knows officially. Just look at this ground by the way. <laughs> nobody knows officially what they're here for, but most people say it was a it was an old boundary. Um, it was yeah, it was an old boundary, so they look really, really impressive, really tall. So we're gonna get up here. Um, have a break, take some pictures, have a drink, and I'll bring you back when they're at the top. But yeah, you can see it's just boggy. And here we are at the top of the nine standards. There we go, get them all in and just look at the views. Just come all the way around. We're literally at the tops. Look at this. See how tall these are. We're gonna have a little rest up here, and you know what? It's nice to have a little bit of a cool breeze because it's been roasting. Just gonna get a few pictures, and that's where we've come. That's where we basically come from, right down there, in the middle. Right, a little rest, and then we'll carry on. This is the point at the nine stand, just after nine standards, where you've got to choose your route. May to November, we're on the May to July, on the red route, and you've got the blue route there as well. So we're doing May to July. We're heading this way. <laughs> just right. This this is just marshland. It's like a scene from Lord of the Rings when Gollum has to take Frodo. He has to navigate them through the swamplands, and he's the only one who knows the way through. We literally before we were all stood on marshland, and it was just going up and down, sinking, keep getting wet. Like this here. Look at this here. Now that green stuff means complete. Water. Oh god. Oh no way. No way. <laughs> oh shit. That way, footprints go that way look. Yeah. I'm going back a little bit. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> oh god. No. <laughs> look how long it is as well. Yeah. I think they're up there. That bed's busted in us that way. Yeah. Just gotta keep going because all this green means water completely underneath. Is that there little thing there? Uh, 
But this is better here, isn't it? A bit softier. I'll film you in case you go in. <laughs> Stay on the white grass. Oh, look at it, Bob. <laughs> it's, 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 I think we'll just go on there over that. Let's just keep going wider. Oh, go on, Matt, after you, Mark. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Right, listen, we'll film it when we get out the other side. I want my poles. As you can see, we're just walking up to the pillar. We've come through a lot of the marshland now. Um, we've probably got some bits to go, but I think we've come through the worst of it. All I can say is, if you'd have come across this in the rain, in the, you know, driving rain and mist, it'd be a nightmare to navigate. Um, we're lucky because we can see quite well. The weather's nice, it's dry, even though it's still soggy. But if that was raining, wouldn't want to do it. But touch wood, it's not, you know, it's not too bad. That little section before, I managed to get over with dry feet, but the two lads, their foot went in under the, uh, the water went in over the boots, so they've got both wet feet. But I'm okay so far. Last thing you want to see, we've just arrived into the farm. Oh, I thought we were going to get a cup of tea and a cake, but we're closed today. So we'll have a little rest. And next we're going up onto the little house up here and you can just see someone with an orange thing there. <sighs> Rest our feet, feet are killing me. Working hard or working smart. <laughs> just having a little rest here, a little lay on a bench. Just got me wet socks off. I've got some nice tiger balm burning my feet at the moment. <laughs> Just a shame we don't get a cake and a cup of tea. Oh, it's a long hike. Just arriving into Keld campsite down the bottom of there, that's where we're going to go next. I'm not going to lie, feet are sore. Oh, there's a takeaway like cafe here. Knees are feeling it, everything. Fancy something to eat, something to drink, a pint, and then get down to the campsite and just chill for tonight. Uh, no, it's uh, got orange fenta, uh, seven art, lilt, coke. Oh. Ham cheese panini, scone, coke, <sighs> and chill. <laughs> oh, feet, knackered. So since the last video, we were just walking through Keld and there was a campsite there and we've decided to push on. By the way, Keld is the halfway point of the whole walk, which is good. And we've decided to push on to... Muka. Muka or Muka. Muka. Uh, it's another three miles, but three miles that we do today is three miles we don't have to do tomorrow. So we're going to go there, check out the campsite there. If it's, if it's shite, we'll, there'll be loads of places to camp around here anyway. But hopefully there is a campsite and we can get a shower and stuff. We've just come off the trail here. The road just carries on, but we've just come off here and we're going to go to our little, this little village over here and see if they've got a place to camp. So we've just walked an extra three miles to get it out of the way today. While it's still, while it's still nice because we're not sure what the weather's like tomorrow. This is beautiful round here. Ooh. I can see a little church in this village. 
Isn't there when there's always a church, there's a pub? <laughs> About time to sink into one of those beers that people have bought, and thank you very much. Honestly, it's much needed. Red Cross, God, we need, we need a bit of that, that help. <laughs> Apologies for the lack of creativity with these shots. It's just me walking. But we've uh, we're heading for a campsite. Um, there were some lovely wild camping spots to be fair, and I almost wish we'd have done that. But we've walked a little bit further. And we've come to a campsite just because we get we got a little bit wet today because it was boggy going through the nine standards, and we can have a hot shower. Um, There'll be a shop here, get a little something to eat, a couple of cans of beer maybe, and just uh, just enjoy it. But uh, originally I'd intended to wild camp all the way, but only wild camped a couple of times, and this is where we're arriving now. So this big campsite here, hopefully this is gonna be nice. <sighs> just can't wait to get off my feet. Here's tonight's pitch. As you can probably see there, it's got a nice salted, Oh, salted, lake salted caramel cream ice cream. Ready for tonight's setup. Shut this, just get rid of the bugs. <laughs> Gone. Lovely little pitch, look at this though. Beautiful little place. But <laughs> we got to the, they shut at six o'clock and we got there at five to six and we said, can we stay tonight? She said, look, it's bank holiday. We, we've had too many come. We just said, please, please. And she's let us camp. So it costs nine pounds each, which is good. The showers, everything like that. So I'm gonna have a shower in a minute. I'm just gonna sit down, have my salted caramel ice cream and have a little relax. So what we've done is to do is acquire a bench from the, from the corner of the field. So we've just gone in the middle, stole the bench. Oh, look at that. Smash bellows. Marshmallows, beer. And I've got a, because we're just around the corner, I've got a gun aside beer. I'm just going to sit here, have a chill, and enjoy the night. Cheers. <laughs> 